Minecrafters, it's Ussie Shortcake here and today just quietly we're talking about Bruno. So I am going to show you how to build this Bruno statue. Once again I will be using the cross stitch colours mod but you can just try and colour match as best you can if you don't want to get that mod. So here we are, we've already got the Casita, we have Mirabelle and now we're moving on to making a Bruno statue. Let's move over to our 4x8 platform. Here are all our materials. We are using black, tan, light tan, beige brown medium, drab brown dark, beige brown dark, pistachio green medium, pistachio green very dark, and green. And finally we have cocoa very dark, soul sand, avocado green, white concrete and brown grey very dark. Lots of browns and greens, I will refer to the green as darkest green, light green and lightest green when building. Now let's take our black concrete and do a whole row of eight blocks just like this. Now we want to switch to our tan, place one block, two black, two tan, two black, and one tan. Oh, not there. Right there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now I'll take our black, two tan, two black, two tan, and then one black. Now we'll do a row of three tan, two light tan, and then three tan. Take our medium beige brown and do a whole row of that. Now with our drab brown, we'll do three blocks. Then we'll place two blocks of our dark beige brown here. We'll finish our row with the drab brown again and then we'll complete this pattern another four times. So three, two, three. Three drab brown, two beige brown dark, three drab brown. And we're going to do that for four rows. So I think this is row number four now. Then we'll take our lightest green, which is pistachio green medium, then two drab, two beige brown dark, two drab, one lightest green. Now we'll take out our pistachio green, which is our darkest green, place two, place one lightest green, place two green, which I'll be calling light green, place another lightest green, and then two dark greens. The next row is one dark green, and then six of our light green, and then one more dark green. Now we'll place two dark green, one, two, then we'll place one light green, then one dark green, one, two light green, and then two dark green. Then we'll continue one light green, one dark green, one light green, one dark green, two light green, one dark green, and one light green. Now you should have something looking a bit like this. Now let's go up here and we'll place, let me just check my note. <laughs> okay, one dark green, then we'll go with two light green, one dark green, three light green, and then one dark green. Now next row, one dark green, then two light green, oh, I need to get the right one, this one, two light green, one dark green, two light green and two dark green. Now moving up, we need our light green, three light green that is, one dark green, three light green again, and one dark green. Now I've just switched out some of my mats because we'll be using the cocoa color. So use two light green, one dark green, one dark cocoa, one dark green, and then three light green. Next, it's two light green, one, two, one dark green, two cocoa brown, one dark green, and then two light green. Now just a couple more rows left for the torso. We'll go one light green, one dark green, one brown, one tan, one brown, one dark green, and then two light green. And our final layer, 
one light green, one dark green, one brown, two tan, one cocoa brown, and two light green. So now you should have the body looking something like this. We need to build the head and the arms. So let's come up and do the arms first over on this left hand side. So we'll take two light green, one dark green. Next row, one light green, one dark green, then one light green. Now next we have one dark green, two light green. Now two dark green, oops, two dark green, one light green. Then one dark green and two light green. Now one light green, one lightest green and one brown, cocoa brown that is. Then one dark green, two cocoa brown. Then one lightest green and two tan. And the next two rows are two rows of tan. Just like that. And we're going to come and do the same thing on the other shoulder. So the same thing, but reverse. So we'll go two light green and one dark green. Then one light green, one dark green, one light green. Then one dark green, light green, light green. Dark green, dark green, light green. Dark green, light green, light green. Now one light green, one lightest green, and one brown. One dark green and two cocoa brown. Oops, wrong color. Two cocoa brown, one, two. Now one lightest green, two tan, and then the next two rows of tan again. One, two, three, one, two, three. So now you should have a body with arms. <laughs> And we're going to move on to the head. So let's come up to this top left hand corner and we're going to count in four blocks and place a block down there of tan. Take it out by three, one, two, three, and just do a whole row here of eight. Now we'll take our soul sand, place one, then we'll place four tan colored bricks. Then we'll place a soul sand and another tan color. Now let's move up here onto the left, place one soul sand, six tan, and one more soul sand. Now we're going to do a couple of columns, just short ones. So a column of two tan, two white, and two avocado green. Then we'll do two columns of tan, one column of, oh, not white, one column of avocado green, one column of white and then one more column of tan. Now we'll place one soul sand and then we'll take our brown gray very dark and place two, then one tan, one soul sand, two brown gray very dark and one soul sand. Now we'll take two soul sand, one tan, another two soul sand, one tan and then another two salt sand. Now we just need to do another two rows of salt sand and these are the entire row of eight all the way along like this. And now we have what's starting of Bruno's head. We need to make it a cube shape. So take this out all the way by seven more. So it's a row of eight and down by seven. So it's a column of eight. Now we want to add one more tan block here. So it's a row of four so far and then another three soul sands. <laughs> now we'll just place two tan bricks and then one next door to it like that. So we've got this little staircase shape. Now we'll fill in the bottom two rows with soul sand and then we'll make an ear. So this row and this row. Now we'll take our tan bricks back out again and oops, we'll take our tan bricks out again and we're going to create an ear shape. So one brick here and then above that we'll place one more and to the right of it one more. Now we just need to fill this side in with our soul sand. And so I've chosen the soul sand for Bruno because it looks a little more unruly or unkempt than the soul soil like I had for Mirabelle. I like how it looks. 
for Bruno. <laughs> Now we need to do another row of eight here to make the back side of the cube. So adding seven more bricks there and another seven down here to make eight again. And then we'll take our tan and we need to place two here because we haven't placed that extra one yet. And then fill it in with another three there of the soul soil. Now we're going to do that same kind of staircase shape over this side. So two bricks there, one brick there of the tan. Then fill in these two rows. And then we'll build our ear shape. So right here on this row, we go up by two and left by one. Now we just fill in all the rest with the soul soil. And we have that extra row because we haven't joined it in yet. And then we'll have, oops, the back side of the head and the top of the head to completely fill in. So let's come down here, close in this gap here. And then fill this whole back of the cube with soul soil. It's just all hair back here. And I really like the texture on this. I think I kind of started saying that before. But it's really cool. It actually looks kind of like curly hair, which is awesome. Now we just need to fill in the inside of this cube. So we're just filling the whole top in here. And later on, we'll give a bit more texture to Bruno's hair. So it's not all just one big cube, but for now, we're just going to fill this in. So now we need to finish building out our statue. You should have something that looks like this. Looks good from the front, and then they're super skinny on the side. So come down to the bottom left, and we're going to do two black, then we'll do a row of eight black, and then just fill it, close that in with two black. Then we wanna go two black again, one row of tan, and then two black again. Now we need to do tan and light tan again. So we'll do two tan and then a row of three tan, then two light tan, then three tan, whoops, <laughs> three tan here, and close it in with the other two tan there. Now we're going to do that exact same pattern on the next row. Now we need to do an entire row or layer of beige brown medium. So along there, all the way along here and along there. We're basically copying exactly what's on the front. So go with our drab brown, then with our beige brown dark, and then our drab brown again. So what's on the front is pretty much going on the back, except for the very top of the torso. So four rows of this, the drab brown and the dark brown. And then once we get to, we're not going all the way up. So once we get to a certain point, we'll stop and start filling in the arms. So here's our four layers. And then we need to take our lightest green and do a row here and on the other side as well. And then our drab brown, two drab brown, two beige brown dark, two drab brown. And then this is a row of lightest green. Now, this is where we'll stop. We'll do our dark green, dark green, light, lightest green, light green, light green, lightest green, dark green, dark green, and fill in that row. Now we're going to do our hands. So we'll do three rows of tan down here to start. Let's just do it in the most difficult way possible. <laughs> there we go, three rows of three. Then we'll continue this up for the next two and we're copying basically what's on the front again. So we need our lightest green here. Now we're gonna take our cocoa brown and do a row here. Oh, that's not cocoa brown, that is black. <laughs> okay, cocoa brown. So a row of three there, one there, and then, oh, I just pressed the wrong button and threw it. Oops, okay, let's get that out again. Okay, a row there and now we need to take our lightest green here, then we'll do our dark green, and next we'll take our light green here, 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 one here, and then we need our dark green again for this one. One more dark green, two dark green, and then a row of light green. A second row of light green, one light green, one dark green. One dark green, a row of light green, and then a row of dark green. And now we just need to fill this in here. Light green, light green, and light green there. 
Now we need to go and do the other side of the arm and the back of the torso, the back of the shirt. So we're going to take this and we're just going to fill it in with all green. We're not doing the tan this time because that's his neck. We're not putting on the back of the neck here. So we're just finishing this off the same. So a row of dark green and the light green all the way along. Now we need to just fill in the top of the shoulder here with light green. Then a row of light green here, another row of light green, and then another two rows of light green. Then we will do two rows of cocoa brown and our rows of tan. One, two, three. And then down the bottom, down the bottom. That was so much easier. <laughs> Why didn't I do it like that before? Okay, let's fill in our oh, tan, but we need a lightest green here. Dark brown dark green. Now we've got that mostly open. We're going to fill in the torso now here. We're mostly copying what is on the front except for the large stripe down the middle and the neck pieces. So go one dark green, then six light green, then one dark green. Oops, that's in the wrong spot. Put it there. Then two dark green here and then we're going to do four light green. Then two dark green. Yes, two dark green. I wasn't sure it was light. So light green now, dark green. Then one, two, three, four. Four light green, one dark green, one light green. Now we'll go one dark green. Then six light green. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one dark green. Now two dark green. Four light green, one dark green, one light green, one lightest green. Then one light green, one dark green, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven actually. Seven light green, one dark green. Then eight light green, six, seven, eight, one dark green. Oh, sorry, this is two dark green, not one. Two dark green here. Now one light green, one dark green, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven light green, eight light green. Now fill in this last row all with light green up until here. The last block is dark green. So now we should have the back of our statue. It should look like this. We're basically finished now. We just need to fill in this little bit. So one row of this soul soil here to fill in close the gap of the head and then we'll come around the front and we'll give Bruno's hair a bit of texture. I think it's looking pretty good like this but he could use a bit more texture in his hair just to give it a bit more shape. So we're going to go one two blocks here and then put a couple diagonal. Uh, you can do this how you want I'm just going to kind of make it a bit like curve around his face a little like this. One here, one there, three here, and then three down here. Um, it's looking a little too symmetrical, so I'm just going to take out one brick here. That's better. Then I just want to do a couple of curls on the side, and I'm not going to do too many here. I'm not doing it all the way around. I'm just going to like put one, two along this side, I think. So that's good like that. One more here. And then I'll go around to the other side. I'm going to leave the back exactly as is. I'm not going to worry about that. The back or the top. And I'll put one here and then the rest just down here. And I reckon that's enough. <laughs> I'm happy with that. We've got a bit more shape there. And there you have it. That's how you build Bruno. So please let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these builds. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to Boss Family Plays and I'll see you on my next build.